Hey, my scrappy friends, this is Hannah with you, and I am working on a layout for um, the Crafty Maven YouTube hop that we are doing. So be sure to check out the links below, and you can watch all of us ladies who are on the Crafty Maven team who have decided to take part. So we are scrap lifting the person ahead of us. So I am scrap lifting Jen and you just seen her, the layout that I'm doing. I am sorry for the little bit of light. I didn't realize that there was a glare on my desk, um, but oh well, you know it's sunny, right? So I'm gonna back this on that Dear Lizzie paper. I also took that to the sewing machine and I did a couple of little things that is not part of the her her layout but I just thought it would be fun and I just did like a zigzag and um, she also used for her border for her picture um, the paper that she used to outline and I did not do that so I used a separate piece of paper I used some Maggie Holmes and then I'm going to use this too. Um, yeah, I just had fun like playing with stuff that I really wanted to play with. <laughs> so I'm using, you know, some newer stuff. And then that Dear Lucy paper is not new. But and then I use some here and there too. And this photo is a photo that I took last May. I think it was around Memorial Day. And we went up to Mount Rainier and we did some fun hiking and stuff and we got to drive around and it is so gorgeous so that's the like very top of Mount Rainier but we actually drove up around it too so I'm pretty I'm staying pretty close to what she did <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um I thought I'd take this the opportunity to just do kind of something a little bit simpler I mean Sometimes it's just fun to scrap lift somebody and not really change it up a lot, right? I also didn't do a lot of mixed media on here. <gasps> Go figure. I've been doing a lot of mixed media, so I kind of felt like today would be a good, or, you know, this layout would be a good layout, not just today. Um, <laughs> it would be a good time to just play around. So I did um, play around with different sizes for those papers and she did a lot of black and white for both sides and I just picked one side to do you know one of the papers to do and you're not really going to see that much of these. I am taping them down a little bit. It would have been really cool but I didn't have enough um, thread. I got to get some more thread to like maybe sew some of those in place. That would have been really fun. I didn't do that but I do really like this because it has like some different types of layers so I really had fun doing this so thank you Jen for inspiring me to do something amazing <laughs> now she had like a three by four card and I just decided to use um, a cut apart from the here and there and it's just like postage thingy um, I was gonna stick that part on top and then I don't end up doing that so oh well it's okay. I stuck it under. It still looks cool. I would made it a little bit wonky and then I'm going to stick a couple of other things on that side and then I'm going to work on the rest of this layout. I like, I really just wanted to use this, the notebook, uh, spot. So, um, but I did decide to put stuff up at the top of there more like over top of the photo. So she used, um, I don't know if it's a four by six, but she used uh, up and down like a, a portrait photo size, you know, and so I decided to do like a landscape and it's, you know, longer. So, and this is a little bit bigger than four by six. I'm not sure what size it is. I just put it in my thing and I just scaled it down a little bit. Uh, I didn't do it based on size, so. I'm not really sure. I know that's probably not a lot of help. And then I decided to leave just those three strips. She used the papers that she had used in her layers on that side. And I did that a little bit. I also am taking that May. It's from uh, one of the little thing. It's like a frame. And then it had the date. And then it had the days of the week in there. I don't know if it was like the days for that year or what. But um, I stapled that and then I'm going to add some pieces from the ephemera pack from here and there. And I p 
putting chipboard behind it. So one of the hacks that I like to do is using, and if you watch my videos, you probably know this already. I like to take my chipboard sheet and use the like edges to um, use like for pop dots because I'm lazy and I keep forgetting to buy them. It's just as easy to, you know, one side sticks already anyway. So you just have to add glue and, you know, you just wait a minute. But it really helps add dimension. And then you get to make use of all of that chipboard because there is a lot of extra negative space in those. And then I decided to use that camera from the ephemera pack. I did not pop that one up, though I think it probably would have looked better if I did. But oh, well, you know, um, and Jen just did a couple of. Um, embellishment clusters on the sides of her photo. I really liked how this turned out. I did, I feel like my layers were a little bit different than the way hers ended up being, but that's okay, right? I mean, this is part of what it's like when you scrap lift someone, you can do it a little bit different and it still makes it fun. So yeah, now I'm looking on this chipboard piece, this paper to see what I wanted and I used that ex voyage and I did cut it so that not all of it and then I'm going to use go and then I'm going to put Mount Rainier and um, I had these I think they're alphas from I think they were from click kits I think those ones were the ones from click kits I know I got a whole bunch of stuff from Christina as well from here and there last year and I think she no you know what these ones might be the ones she gave me I know Click Kits, I think, had gold ones, if I'm not mistaken. But I really liked the way that that looked with these other thickers from, gosh, I don't know where they're from. <laughs> I probably should know that, but I don't. Um, but they're super, super fun and playful. They might be Maggie Holmes. I'm not sure. They're crepe paper. I can tell you that. Um, but they're super cute and I really like the way that that title worked. And so now I'm just going to look at the sticker sheet and I'm going to put a few more embellishments. I use a lot of stars and hearts and I just decided to like intermix them and be okay with the fact that they're not, you know, all one motif, if you want to call it. But I really liked the way that it turned out that way. Um, like I said, this was, I stuck with her, her design fairly straightforward which is not like me at all but you know like I said sometimes you just come across a layout that is awesome <laughs> and fun and why change it up you know like if you're in a place in your life where things are a little bit crazy and you want to feel accomplished and you want to get a layout done sticking to someone's scrap lift it really is there's no problem with it, guys. Like, I know we push creativity and b doing your own thing and making it yours. But sometimes life just says, I need to get creative, but I don't have a lot of brain power. <laughs> and I really like this style. Or I'm learning. And I need to learn how to use design, the you know, to use the right way to design. So I'm just playing around with what hearts and stars I want where, and I decided to put that one up there, and I layered the star on top of it. I think it looks super cute. <laughs> Don't you? I like the way that this turned out. It was really fun. Um, I am going to end up using some shimmers spray just to like do like some last minute um, like, you know, splatters and... Um, that I used blue because there is a lot of blue on this layout and in my photo. So it was super fun. This was super fun. I hope you guys really enjoy this hop. I hope that you guys go around and comment and just like and enjoy, you know, all of us having some fun. We really wanted to do this around National Scrapbooking Day weekend so that, you know, we could embody what, National Scrapbooking Day weekend is all about, and that's about getting creative, getting in your room, and just playing and having fun. Whether you're scrap lifting or doing your own thing or playing along with the challenges, it's just super fun. So I one thing I didn't do, and I know I'm kind of like all in here because I'm trying. <laughs> I tried to use the little like, 
you know, spray nozzle and it was not working. It's not like Heidi Swap where you can like flick it and it kind of works. Um, the shimmers ones don't do that so much. So I'm cleaning this off because of course I got it. And then I'm going to use my roll date and I just put the, the month and the year. I did not do the journaling this time. I'm going to do it later when it, when all the splatters dry. So that was my thinking. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you check out the info box so you can follow the hop. And I hope you guys have a great, great scrappy day. Bye.